What's up, everybody? Say, I just thought we'd uh, give a quick breakdown and show and tell of the magnet rotor that's inside of the McCulloch uh, generator. And uh, talk about the field that's that's in, in it. Now, you can see this whole thing. It's a d double... Uh, coil here uh, made of a, like a copper bowl and it has this iron plate on the back well how the field is actually set up if you feel around it with a with a screwdriver you can tap on it uh, there's no no magnetic field but you get in the in the middle here very strong magnetic field on both sides and and then if you uh, take and, and rotate your screwdriver or, or whatever around you can find a point that it kind of like cogs at and, and so it's it's you know co cogging here and you come come around nice and easy and it's cogging here so what we actually have in inside this unit we'll kind of get this piece of tape here and let's just say that the, the 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 back plate being metal here, uh, iron, iron um, it takes and you know helps fl flow the magnet ar ar around the f the field around. Um, uh, let's let's do this better. Let's just say that this is the north north side of of this magnet between up here. And, and this bottom half on, on the inside is going to be the south side of this magnet. And then, ah, didn't stick too well. Too much dirt and grease and grime on this thing. Um, so it's north, south, and, and then on the other side of, of this thing uh, again there's no no real field any anywhere around here in the edge but it's inside here and and again we can feel around and there's the point that it cogs at and come wandering around this way and it's cogging at this this point here and so we'd have another piece of tape Going from this pole to this pole, and this side would be south, effectively by, by the way of looking at it, and the bottom bottom north. So what you'd have effectively is a south pole and a north pole strongly facing each other, right here in 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 the middle. And of course, that whole thing is rotating. And there's this coil assembly that come, comes apart and goes back together around it. So the, the rotor's rotating, I'm rotating the coil just for ease of, ease of demonstration here. Um, but, you know, when the, when the coil is like this, uh, you, you have, you know, a strong north-south pole coming up, and on this side, you got a north-south pole going down through all of these wires. Now, we also had a question about the way these coils were constructed, and got a couple different types of them here. Uh, this one's wound with just regular, you know, co copper wire, fine, fine, fine gauge, and you know, so the turns just continue to loop around, uh, and, and and they build up the thickness by looks like they're going about six turns deep, and they're going probably 30 turns coming this way if I counted it right. 
so multiply that out and that's how many turns you've actually got um, but the copper coin through here is the only part that's exposed uh, to, to, the, to the magnetic field all of this copper coming back up around this way that part of the copper is not exposed to the magnetic field uh, of course the magnetic field is going exactly perpendicular to the copper 90 degrees so strong force going through there that causes electrons to flow one way and then the, uh, you know when it's north-south and then when the south-north comes it causes them to go the other way um, so it ends up generating an AC uh, sinusoidal wave we'll prove that when we run the thing uh, and hook it up to an oscope um, and just for your viewing pleasure here I did go out looking at other of these coil designs and I did find an, an, another one and this one rather than being made with standard uh, copper wire uh, is made with flat ribbon cable you can you can't quite see the in individual rib rib ribbon there it's very very thin cable you can kind of get a, a look at it right right here where it's coming up from uh, you know it's just it's just this wide but very very, very thin so there's there's literally I, I can't even count how many it's like sheets of paper stuck on top of each other uh, um, many 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 layers and then terminating it uh, you know this this screw on this end and this this screw over here uh, anyway either, either one of these uh, coil assemblies would would work fine in this this kind of rotor um, but but again all the wire that's coming out here is effectively not in the magnetic field um, but we're not we're not worried about efficiency at this level we're, we're worried about the, the the type of signal coming out and uh, whether it can push a little bit of current through the step up transformer and uh, then we'll get our increase through the resonant action there so like I said this is just a real quick video to talk about the magnetic field that's in the rotor in the McCulloch generator um, for a further look at magnetic fields and uh, the the there's a, a new book uh, well he's in his third edition now he's currently working on his fourth edition of uh, the real truth about magnetic fields um, and there'll be a, 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 a link down below of what it's all about and UFO has also provided quite a few interesting images of the toroidal magnetic field that really is taking place but um, I'll provide links for that also down below uh, we're, we're just talking about the real basic information you got in school magnet and how the field goes and so that that's an explanation that everyone can grab onto so We'll be back when we run the generator shortly. Thanks a lot.